Hi, how are you? It's Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we learned about Featherbeard's journey to Shadralor to save the griffin eggs that were stolen from the wild hammer dwarves. And when we went there, we found Featherbeard's corpse on the top of a temple. So we decided to avenge his death and finish the mission, and we retrieved the griffin eggs and brought them back to Airy Peak. And we also got slayed by a warlock a bunch of times. We got slayed by a couple of warlocks. We still have trouble uh, fighting against them. But we uh, tried fighting them last episode and I just don't know what we can do. To be honest, I think we need a trinket. I think that's like one of the only answers so we can trinket fear. But yeah, guys, today we will be leveling up our herbalism. Our herbalism is currently at 245. I want to get it around the 260 range. And then from here we will be heading off to Felwood. But I am going to queue up for some dungeons. Queue up for a Blackrock Depths. It's one of the dungeons I want to get into again. Keep failing there, though. I guess we'll queue up for a lower black rock spire, why not? We'll see if we can get into a group while we're out here farming some herbs. Hope there's not too many people out here today. We don't need too many levels either. Be nice if we get like, you know, 20. And then we'll head back to Felwood and then try to finish up our off our uh, herbalism grind. We'll try to get it up to 300 from there. And then we will go back into alchemy and then get the final 53 levels that we need to get that to 300 as well. And then we will be ready to go through the dark portal and into Outland. we get over here. Purple Lotus, that should be a level. Just gotta find out where it is. Haven't seen anybody out here yet, so that's a... Uh, it's a good sign for us. Because we are trying to get all the herbs that we can. There we go. The Temple of Zul. Or the Altar of Zul. I wonder who's here. I think someone's fighting their way up there. Supposedly there's a purple lotus up here too that we should try to get. Looks like Zul got wrecked. Whoever's been up, whoever was up here. Remember this being a pretty tough fight for my hunter. And I was trying to uh, fight the. I think I don't know if they're elites, but the two mo the mobs that were up there. We are getting lucky. First lap laps just started, and we've already got a couple of levels, so that's good. But there clearly are people here, since we see some corpses. We haven't seen any players yet. I am going to try to PvP if we can get into a little bit of a PvP fight. Supposedly I'm still in combat. So we'll remove the totem here. I thought nighttime would be a good time to try it. I tried the morning. And the morning seems to be pretty packed. 
I think a lot of people think that the early, you know, earlier you are, the better it is. Yeah, can we get, there we go, we can mount up again. And yeah, Blizzard had their, uh, their financials released for the second quarter of 2022. Well, Activision did. Activision Blizzard. And Blizzard's actually doing okay. They had uh, 27 million monthly active users, up from 22 million in quarter one of 2022. So Blizzard uh, is getting more users. I don't know if that's in WoW. I'm assuming that's mostly from Diablo Immortal. Because that game actually did pretty damn well. It's lost a little bit of hype, though. People I know that used to play it, they're not really playing it anymore. But it did, uh, it did do pretty well for a couple of months. And it's got that free-to-play aspect to it. You know, free-to-play. But there's a lot of uh, pay-to-win... Uh, parts of the game as well. Guess where's this uh, sungrass? Hard to find sungrass. I seen somebody on a mount just ahead of us there. Yeah, Activision's numbers went down. So even with the help of uh, Blizzard, they didn't do too well. They had uh, 94 million monthly active users, which is down from 100 million in the first quarter of 2022. There's another herb over here where we couldn't find. It. Yeah, Activision's having a rough time. I guess Call of Duty just isn't uh, isn't getting as much hype. Maybe Apex Legends and uh, Valorant are uh, stealing the show. Uh, Fortnite as well. Probably Fortnite's doing pretty good. Since they removed... Uh, they didn't remove building, but... Building... There's a game mode now that you can play. Where there is um, no building in the game. And that uh, brought back a lot of players. Because... Some players just don't like building, right? So that does add another uh, player base to their game, which is pretty cool. Smart move by Fortnite, that's for sure. There's a lot of herbs around here. Just gotta find the grass. I don't know where this stuff is. It's like so hard to find the grass. The sun grass. Supposedly we're right on top of it. And we can't even see it. There it is. It looks like every other like piece of grass. <laughs> okay, what's over here? The golden sand sand. Nice. I don't think we can loot this yet though. Which is too bad. I think you need 260. Did we run by this too? It's one thing about herbalism in classic. It's like... You really gotta look for the herb, you know? Like in retail, they're, they're like shining. In New World, they're like gigantic. So they're like really easy to find. 
But in classic WoW, it's like they're like these little shrubs. The thing is, this one looks actually, it, it does look much different than the other ones. But I, I can't find it. Sometimes I just scan over and just try to... This is one thing about nighttime herbalism. There we go. Look at that. How do you find that? Oh, yeah, we need 260 for it. We're pretty close, though. We only need 10 more. What's this over here? Sungrass. Great. <laughs> they all look like this. All the sungrasses look like this one. This guy's going to find it. There he is. Please miss. He's not going to miss. Damn it. Then I get sniped. Oh man, that sucks. So sad. I'm just terrible at herbalism. I'm a terrible herbalist. I'm too slow. How did he see that? Like, it's like he's like... got good eyes, I guess. Life root. I wonder if we can get any uh, XP from that. No, we can't. Might be worth picking up, though, anyways. Yeah, we missed out on that sun grass. Too bad. We'd be uh, 251 right now. Khadgar's whiskers aren't bad. They're pretty easy to find. They're, like, really big. What's in here? Ghost mushrooms? Let's go around that. Yeah, this herbalism journey has been quite the journey. We've had to do a lot of laps. But we waited, I think, for the right time. We got carrot on a stick, so our mount's not too slow. Which is nice. Problem is now we know we're competing with the paladin. Who's also doing the same thing as us. But it seems to be that uh, it's not that bad. So how did he find hit this? Like It should just be right here. Like I should just be looking at it. There it is. There we go. It's got to be a little bit more aggressive. It's, it's a little bigger. Sun grass. One thing I noticed about it. And keep finding new stuff. There's another golden sand sam here. Once we get 260, we should start to fly up. But at least we know we can't herb that yet. I wonder if Blizzard will continue to increase its monthly active users. I wonder what the next quarter will be like. It's probably okay. I think with the release, I think the final quarter will be pretty good. Of uh, 2022. Because we're going to have Wrath of Lich King out and Dragonflight. As long as those two games are, are good, then they should do pretty well. I 
That's the tough part about investing in Activision. It's just too many games you have to keep track of to know like how they're doing or if they're going to do well. Like they have Call of Duty. They have all these franchises, but the thing is, if any of those franchises start falling off, like if WoW fell off and nobody start, like I know that's there will always be people to like playing WoW. I think right, it will always have like some sort of a community, but people just stop playing the game. Like it like lost like tons of subscribers. Like nobody was playing classic or like it's supposed to imagine retail like had nobody playing it's like only like a couple of servers then yeah blizzard would take a huge hit the same so would activision i think their biggest games must be like wow call of duty imagine call of duty goes down i think candy crush is a big one too that's like one of their big games It's just hard for them to, like, innovate on top of what they've currently made. I think that's, like, one of the things that's kind of tough. You notice that they're actually, like, World of Warcraft's going back. And even Call of Duty, they're you know, going back to uh, their roots. Like, Call of Duty released another, like, Black Ops. But they did, uh, release, um, the Battle Royale. Which I think might have been a good idea. I think that did pretty good. The Call of Duty Battle Royale was pretty damn popular. I used to play Battle Royales a lot. I started off with, a, you know, the grandfather of Battle Royales, which is uh, H1Z1. People don't even play that anymore. But that's when I... Like, I was playing H1Z1, like, the regular... Because I liked survival games, like Rust. And me and my buddies, we were playing H1Z1 for a while. And, um... Eventually, they added a Battle Royale to that game. And then I started playing the Battle Royale. It's pretty damn fun. And then I never really got into the other ones. Like, PUBG. Like, I, I played PUBG... I played Apex, I played all those other ones, played Fortnite, but I never, like, played it. Like, it was something I'd play, like, once in a while, you know? I never, like, made it a game that I would consistently play. But H1Z1, I, we, we played a lot, that's for sure. And it had, like, a lobby. Like, the lobby was so, like... You'd never see a lobby like this ever again. Like, people would go into the lobby... And, uh... To get into this, this game. And it was just... It was like being in hell. <laughs> it's like constant screaming. People playing music. People saying, like, you know... Whatever they could come to their head. It's just, like, tons of words... Like, complete rambling. And yelling. And then you get, like, sent out. It's kind of funny. But eventually you ended up muting it, but... <laughs> it was one of the, like, pretty damn unique lobbies in the for Battle Royale. So you would never see a Battle Royale lobby like that ever again, I don't think. It's always cool being a part of like the first of a genre like like playing you know dota back in you know back in the day like way back in the day for um uh when it was like a used map settings game in warcraft 3 and then that turned into like a whole huge gaming genre of uh of mobas and then League of Legends came out. I played League of Legends, like, Season 1. My buddy, like, said it's kind of a cool game. It's all like Dota, so we gave it a try, and we all got hooked for a couple of years. And then when Dota 2 came out, I played a lot of that, too.
but never stuck with it. Always, uh, always would come back to WoW. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's kind of the game that I've always enjoyed. I've always liked uh, MMOs a lot. I think I just like the social aspect of it. Like those games where you're just in and out, it's kind of hard to, uh... It's hard to f it's hard to find those like funny social situations that you that like WoW offers because you're just in and out. Like in WoW, you're just like it's like a big world. You run into people. Funny stuff happens. Sometimes you die. Sometimes you kill them. Sometimes you witness somebody like ninjing loot in a raid. Like all this funny stuff. And then there's, like, trade chat, all that. I think that's why I like MMOs. It's the, the social aspect of it. Like, those queue up games, they kind of remind me of, like, playing a game of chess. Like, you know, you just face your opponent. And then after, you know, you say GG or shake hands. And then you move on to the next one. <laughs> And then MOBAs, they're, like, completely toxic. Like, no one's... In... <laughs> Everyone's just, like, super upset when they're losing in MOBAs. And they, all... and they never blame themselves. It's always who who else. Who else is it? Who to blame on the map? It's usually the jungle. The jungle usually gets blamed a lot. Dota's a little different, though. You know, there isn't really a... A jungle. It's, it's a little, little bit different than League. I think that's what made League good. It was easier to understand than Dota. Wow, we're really getting killed on the herbs right now. Just, this, this lap's pretty bad. <laughs> that paladin's killing us, guys. Could head out, head up into here, but the problem is going up in there is we're going to have to fight for, like, every herb. And they might not be up there. If I was a higher level, I could just run up there quick and try to get a bunch of herbs. The thing is, our first lap was pretty good, so... Can't expect our second lap to be as good as that. I think we went from, what, 246 to 253, which is pretty damn good. There's sun grass over there. Just gotta find it quick. There it is. Look at that, another one right in front of us. When it rains, it pours. And look at that, right when we <laughs> try to pick this herb, we lag. There we go. But yeah, Blizzard has a lot of uh, a lot of good titles coming up. The new retail expansion. They got Wrath Collection coming out. They got Diablo Four coming out. I think those are the three big ones for me. Got Overwatch Two, and then they got that uh, that tower defense phone game. Arclight Rumble. Um, I don't know how that will do, but... Tardy games are fun, but I usually only play them... Like, use map settings in, uh, like, StarCraft 2. Or WarCraft 3.
All right, so we got a couple herbs at the end there. That was good. Decent little lap. You got like three levels. Once we get, we really got to get over 260 because once we get over 260, we can get that uh, golden sand sams, whatever they're called, and that'll really start to boost up our level. But yeah, really peaceful out here compared to the last episode. The last episode was like full of warlocks. We were fighting like crazy. And now uh, it's more chilled out. It's like just me and that paladin. Should we head into Shadrow Allure? I think we should. There is a, a purple lotus over here. What's this over here? Should get the sun grass first, and then we'll go get the purple lotus. Let's try to find it quick. There it is. Been faster on the on the sun grasses. That's good. Oh crap! We pulled. Hopefully he'll run away from us. I just need to follow the wall here. We should find... Purple Lotus. There it is. This will be our last time in the Interlands, guys. I'm not going to, uh... Trying to get another episode in of um, farming herbs. But it is a part of the game. You know, it is a part of leveling up your character. You do have to... Uh, should get your professions up. I would recommend it. That's for sure. And if you don't know what to pick, I'd recommend just taking herbalism and mining. Because um, you could store all the herbs and the ores that you got in your in your bank and or on, a, on an alt have like an alt character it's like a bank character and uh when you decide what professions you want to want to use then uh you can take all of the stuff you farmed and uh eventually put that into your professions i was thinking if i was gonna if i'm gonna play on the fresh servers not too sure if i am that i would probably uh go mining herbalism because um not only is it a good way to make gold, but it's also a uh, good way to, to get some other professions going if you plan on, uh, you know, raiding there or doing some endgame stuff. What do we got here? A purple lotus. Looks like this vile branch pup is going to hit us here, so we're going to have to fight him. Yeah, our paladin is really cruising past our shaman. Paladin's now, uh, I think, level 58. The recording of this uh, this video. We're pretty much 55, so he's got the three-level lead on us, which is kind of crazy. And it's just from getting into dungeons, guys. Like, we've been queued up for dungeons for a long time. Doesn't look, look like we can really get into one. Which is too bad. So we got a tanky boy here. I might just have to make my own. If I want to get into Black Rock Depths again. shame we were never able to uh, get a decent group for that. Getting kind of unlucky on the on Squidly Diddly. Oh, 
But we'll try to get back into Blackrock Depths. I'm just going to keep queuing up for dungeons for now, but once we hit 300 herb, we do uh, a couple of quests below Lotus up here. I wonder if we can get by all these guys. They are level 45, so it shouldn't be too bad. Thing is, once you go up here, you just, you just can't stop. Because you need more herbs and end up showing up on your map. I think we're pretty high level for this place, so we might as well take advantage of it. And then we're going to have to fight this witch doctor here. So we got another guy coming. We're going to probably fight him too. Oh wow, we didn't pull him. Our totems did. <laughs> I shouldn't have dropped it. It's too bad. Supposedly there's a, a lotus here. I think it's up up one level though. I don't think it's down there. I think I highly doubt it's down here. Maybe it is. No, it's not. So we gotta go up one level. That should give us 260. Maybe we can skip these guys. Should be just down here. Oh, we did pulled. The thing is, we're at least getting XP from these. Gonna get by all these oozes here. Oh. Nope. Oh wow. Bags are filling up quite a bit. I'm going to have to drop these herbs off somewhere. And there we are, 260. Not bad. We'll try to get a couple more since we're here. I think I can run away from this guy. We actually need to go up another level for the next herb that we want. Supposedly over here. We can get by all these guys. These guys are all 48. This is where we probably got to stop. Unless we want to fight our way to every herb. Not bad. We're getting XP. Who else is here? Oh, we got a paladin here. I wonder what he's doing. The prop paladin. Ah. Okay, let's shrink up. Prop paladin's doing pretty good. He's low on mana. I don't know what he's gonna do here against these guys. If I run in there, he's probably got bubble and all that stuff, so he's good. Should we go in there and try to finish him off? Let's go get him. It's a good time for us to attack. Imagine he kills us. Here we go, bubble lay on hands. Is he gonna run? I wonder if he can kill us. We've got the lay on hands proc. 
Looks like he's pulling more stuff. He bubbled there. Use gift of the Naru and then we'll mount. Oh, he's gonna get the warhorse off. No. Let's see if we can chase him down though. But yeah, you see what paladins can do? It's crazy. Yeah, he's pretty fast. Seems like he has a. Uh... He has carrot on a stick or something like that. But he got out of there pretty quick. We did barely any damage to him on the hit, I guess because he's a prop paladin. Okay, now I'm a little bit lost. Did barely any else do. <laughs> we just tickled him. He's coming back. Is he coming for the herb? I think he is coming for it. I don't know if he's going to interrupt me on it. He's coming for me after this. He's going to attack me 100%. He's going to hodge me. That's going to be his plan. Alright, we'll do one more. Run over to Airy Peak. See what we get. Hit our goal of 260. It'd be nice if we could be like closer to 265. But the good thing is in Fellwood, we will be able to, uh, to get enough herbs. That's for sure. At this current level. There's a lot of sun grass there as well. Okay, where it go? Oh, I think I just hit it there. It's hard to see in the nighttime. Oh, there it is. Failed attempt. Inventory's full. Let's get rid of this furry mane. Yeah, this is a good time to do it. I don't know if we're getting more herbs this episode or last episode. Last episode, there was just way more horde here. I will admit, last episode was more fun, even though I was getting, like, destroyed by warlocks. It is more fun having those, like, world PvP scenarios. But we did get to our goal of 260. Really, you want to get up to 270, but I think 260 is good enough. I wonder if we can kill this guy. Is it paladin? There's a, another prod paladin. Everybody's a prod paladin. And he just bubbled and walked away. <laughs> So many prod paladins, man. It's good though. If you want to, if you level as a prod paladin, you'll level up pretty quick, and you'll get into dungeons whenever you want.
No, yeah, well, hopefully we can find like one more. Maybe two. The good thing about Felwood though is we're gonna just be able to, you know, quest. And then while we quest, we'll get herbs. The interesting about Felwood though is there's gonna be a lot of horde there, so we're gonna be getting yanked a lot, so that's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna take my paladin, I mean my shaman, much longer than my paladin to hit uh, 70 just because of all of the world PvP situations that we're going to be running into. Alright, well I don't think we can find any more, guys. I think we've looked. Airy Peak's just over there. So I think I'll just hurt over. And we'll sell you some stuff here to Innkeeper Bullfram. Wonder if we got any junk here. It's waste. It's not a bad waste. Get rid of all this stuff. I think this is where all the junk is. Featherbeard's map. We don't need that anymore. I think we just hold on to everything else. Tasty lion steak. We still have that, but we never use it. Should start using it. Watch your back. But yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Mm -hmm.